Funeral services for a Wyzetta police officer hit and killed last week will be held this Thursday. 47-year-old William Matthews was killed when he was hit by a car along Highway 12 Friday after he stopped to pick up debris. Since his death, there had been a number of tributes. Saturday, dozens of officers were there as Matthews' remains were brought to a Wyzetta funeral home with dignity and support. And at True Value in Long Lake, they gave away hundreds of blue bulbs to the public so the community could shine the lights outside their homes in honor of Matthews and other fallen officers. One of the things people always ask is, how can we honor Officer Matthews and how can we honor the fallen officers? And the most simplest thing you can do is unscrew a light bulb and put in a blue bulb and turn it on at night. They gave away 500 light bulbs yesterday. Then a customer actually went to another store and bought 50 more for them to give away. Matthews was a nine-year veteran of the Wyzetta Police Department. He leaves behind a wife and seven-year-old son. His funeral is set for Thursday at Wyzetta Free Church. The driver, police say, hit Officer Matthews' 54-year-old Beth Freeman a mound. She is still in jail and could be charged with criminal vehicular homicide. Court records show Freeman has had several traffic violations. Minneapolis police have a man in custody in connection to a weekend homicide. 40-year-old Ernesto Rivera is now in the Hennepin County Jail for probable cause murder. Rivera's arrest comes one day after police found a man dead of gunshot wounds inside a car. Vehicle crashed in the 4500 block of Stevens Avenue South. Uh, authorities have yet to identify that victim, but police do believe that Rivera and the victim knew each other. St. Paul police investigating an apparent homicide. Officers called to Regents Hospital just before 5.30 Sunday morning after a man arrived there with a gunshot wound. That man later died. Police identified the possible crime scene. You're looking at it. 100 block of East Sycamore Street in the North End neighborhood. So far, police have not arrested anyone. Today, our nation marks 16 years since the 9-11 terror attack. Observances are planned at the World Trade Center and Pentagon and the Flight 93 National Memorial Site near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Nearly 3,000 people died when hijackers took control and crashed four planes on September 11, 2001. Vice President Mike Pence will deliver remarks in Pennsylvania. President Donald Trump plans to observe a moment of silence at the Pentagon. In the Twin Cities tonight, the Minnesota Vikings have a tribute planned before their first game of this season. A special ceremony includes a flag the size of the whole field. It also gets the crowd involved with cards on seats that fans can hold up during the national anthem. Former NYPD officer Daniel Rodriguez will perform the national anthem. He was a 9-11 first responder. The ceremony include, concludes with a B-52 flyover. The game itself is going to be one to watch, too. It is the first game of the season. Minnesota hosting the New Orleans Saints. Some guy named Adrian Peterson is on that team now. The game is at 6 o'clock. We are carrying it live right here on Channel 4. Great pregame coverage kicking off with a special show at 5.30. Then after the game, Mark Rosen, Mike Max, former Viking Matt Burke will all have analysis. Should be a fun night here on Channel 4. And gearing up for that game, we changed the weather watcher colors today. It is purple and gold. Matt shows us what the weather will be like around.